Before we begin the next story, I must tell you this. It is not a Hollywood film or a Netflix series, but it could be either. It has royal intrigue and the return of an estranged prince. No, he is not called Harry, though the similarities are uncanny. Tonight, we are talking about drama in the Thai royal family. The second oldest son of the king has made a surprise visit home. He has come home after 27 years. He was stripped of all his titles when he was still a teenager, and since then, he's been living in the U.S., so why has he returned now? The Thai royal family is going through a tough phase. The heir apparent is in a coma. There are doubts about the line of succession, and by happy coincidence, this exiled prince returns. Will this kick off a new Game of Thrones in Thailand? Here's a report. You would think that today palace politics would be a thing of the past. In most countries, the monarchy has either been abolished or at least severely limited. So succession crises aren't what they used to be. Well, that isn't the case in Thailand, where the exiled prince Vachare Son Vivachara Wongse has made a surprising return. He put out a picture of himself getting out of one of Bangkok's famed tuk-tuks and created a storm of gossip. We'll get to why this is making headlines in a moment. To understand the importance of the situation, we need to understand Thailand's politics. The government is technically a constitutional monarchy, but the Thai version is a bit more hands-on. Thai monarchs have an outsized say in politics. They have traditionally been close to the Thai military. Military leaders have launched coups and claimed the support of the royal family. And in turn, various Thai juntas have protected the royal family's standing. They are protected from criticism because of strict lay majest laws. People can be thrown into jail for up to 15 years for criticizing the royal family. So you can see why the royal family still holds a lot of sway in the country. That's why it's important for the Thai people to know who the next monarch will be. And that's been up in the air for a few months. This is the King of Thailand, Maha Vajiralongkorn. He also goes by the regal name Rama X. He just turned 71 a few days ago. So it's fair to wonder about his successor. The king has lived a colourful life, to put it mildly. He's been married four times and has seven children, two daughters and five sons. But only three of the children are officially recognised, his daughters and his youngest son. The four eldest princes were stripped of their titles in the mid-1990s. This is when the king divorced their mother. He accused her of infidelity. Never mind that all four of the princes and their sister were born out of wedlock. But nonetheless, he divorced their mother and went to marry twice more. He had a son with his third wife. But the youngest prince reportedly has a learning disability. So he may not be able to take the throne. So this left the princesses as potential successors. The eldest daughter, Princess Bajra Kitayabha was expected to take power, either as the outright heir or as a regent. She was seen as a worthy successor. But then, tragedy struck last December. The Thai royal palace announced she had experienced a severe heart arrhythmia. The princess has reportedly been in a coma ever since. Thailand's succession plans went up in smoke. No one was sure about who would succeed the colourful Rama X. But then, this week, an exiled prince came home. Vacharason is the king's second son. He's 42 years old. He spent 27 of those years in the United States. He now works there as a lawyer. The prince has always been pro-monarchy, which isn't really a surprise. The surprise is his visit. He came to the capital, Bangkok, on Sunday. The next day, he went to an important temple where he paid his respects to the country's supreme Buddhist patriarch. He then went to a childcare centre for underprivileged families, which happens to be supported by the royal family. I am delighted to return to Thailand. I have been warmly welcomed. I have been away for a long time, 27 years. It is like a dream come true to be back here. Before the plane could land, I looked outside the window. I felt very emotional and grateful to the country. I have never forgotten that I am Thai. I have never forgotten about the importance of Thai culture. Does that sound like an election pitch to you? The prince may have a lot more to do before he can claim the throne. The Thai royal family have made no mention of his visit. 
they haven't even acknowledged it. The prince hasn't said anything about the looming succession crisis either. But his visits to the temple and the childcare home look suspiciously like royal ceremonial visits. Could this be an audition for the royal role? We'll keep you posted.